Before filling any gun, make sure that it is unloaded. If it's a single shot, if necessary, discharge into a safe place or rod the barrel. If it's a multi-shot, take the magazine out, but always make sure it's unloaded. I have here uh, a pressurized scuba tank, and I'm going to fill a gun that's empty. And the first thing I'm going to do is apply the safety. I'm then going to cock the gun. The reason for that is because with the gun empty, the hammer will be leaning against the exhaust valve inside the gun and the pressure of the hammer spring may just keep that valve open. So by cocking the gun, I remove the pressure from the valve, allowing it to close when the air pressure comes into the gun. So to cock the gun, I pull the bolt back, return it to its original position, remove the filler cap, and then insert the filling probe into the gun. Now, the important thing now is to fill the gun slowly. And the reason is that the faster the air moves, the more friction is generated, the more friction is generated, the more heat is generated, and that will cause the air to expand and prevent the gun from filling to its full charge pressure. Different guns require different charge pressures. Always fill your gun to the recommended pressure. Overfilling will certainly not help the gun's performance. It will almost certainly reduce the velocity achieved, and obviously, in extreme cases, could prove to be dangerous. Having filled the gun to the manufacturer's recommended pressure, turn off the air, and I'm now going to bleed the hose. It's important to do this quickly because if you do it very, very, very slowly, what can happen is that the inlet valve doesn't have a chance to shut and you just end up emptying the gun. So I now just open the bleed valve and release the pressure in the hose. I can now take the adapter out of the gun and that gun is filled and ready for use. I'm trying to fill this bottle from a pump. It needs to be charged to 232 bar. <sighs> Full. All that remains now is for me to open the bleed valve on the pump, which will allow the air, the pressurized air in the pump and in the hose to be released and therefore the bottle valve to close. The bottle can now be unscrewed and is ready for use. You tend not to waste shots when you fill a bottle this way. And one other thing that's worth making a point about is if you go out and shoot, it's often a lot easier to fill your gun or your bottle every time you finish shooting so that it's ready for the next time you want to go out. Topping it up is a lot quicker than filling from scratch. You can fill a gun using either a pump or a scuba tank, but essentially it's the same thing. The key elements are always fill the gun a, to the manufacturer's recommended pressure. Secondly, only with dry diver's air. And thirdly, you fill the gun as slowly as you possibly can. And then when it is full, open the bleed valve quickly to allow the air in the hose to escape and the inlet valve on the gun to close. <laughs>